Mela. 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 Mates. <clears throat> Mates. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Mellow Mates. I am your host, Sean Wayne, here on Sean Wayne Productions. This is my co-host. You don't see my hand here. Uh, this <laughs> is my co-host, uh, Rocky Singapore. How you doing, Rocky? <laughs> hey, we're all right. Um, so yeah, uh, last episode was good. We talked about a bunch of cool stuff. Um... We are trying to get guests on here. It is a little hard. Uh, the recording times are a little different from, you know, what everybody's used to. So, but we are working on it. Um, but yeah, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, what'd you think of that? Man, I hear it's going to be big, for sure. Did It'll you watch? Like a, uh, like a Florida simulator. <laughs> yeah did you see that they're gonna have like takeovers in it and mob like yeah you see like the four wheelers and dirt bikes yeah, and stuff mobbing down the bikes. street oh my gosh dude it's gonna be it's gonna be good i think it's gonna be like super good npcs are gonna be nuts too did you see like uh i was like scrolling through twitter or whatever and um there was x. this yeah x <laughs> and there, there was this, uh, there was this NPC like on the beach, you know, laying down, and he had his phone out, like you know, like, like this, and he was there was this chick's ass like right in front. Of him. <laughs> <laughs> he was taking a picture of it. I was like, dude, these these NPCs are gonna be wild. But yeah, the, um, all the all those cutscenes were like, you know, like real life events or based off of like real life events. Right. Of some sort. From like different crazy things that have happened. Yeah. That have made like they went like viral memes, you know? Yeah. I it's think it'll be wild. I think it will be the next big game. The Grand Theft Auto Six, I think it will be. Uh it better be because of how long it took to make. You know what I mean? You know, I feel like Rockstar always makes like really big games, but then they always do something that pisses off a lot of people. Never fails with Rockstar games. They did. Uh, you are right, and in, in a yes, you you are correct. Um, there is a lot of stuff like that that goes on. Uh, you know, Five M. I mean, you right. played Five M with us. Rockstar like either partnered with CFX or they bought it from CFX. I cannot remember, but you know, it took me a long time to put like cars in the server. Like right. we, we, you know, you was there. I mean, yeah. when we were building the server, both servers, cause I built two of them. Um, it took a long time to put those cars in. We put name branded cars in, like, you know, Dodge Chargers, Ford Mustangs, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, when Rockstar acquired 5M or CFX from, you know, from the owners or partnered with them, I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, They put a thing out to where, you know, they're going to ban servers if they find, you know, realistic vehicles within the servers they'll ban them permanently permanently ban them so a lot of people got really upset of that and a lot of servers i just went in and took all the cars out of the server but right. a, a lot of the uh a lot of the server owners that had servers like big servers on there they like went to rage rage rp which is a like a 5m sister but nobody used it until rockstar did their did their thing, so they could do that. So they could have like copywritten content within copywritten. Wouldn't it be infringement? I don't know how to say it. Would it be infringement? Um, maybe I'm saying that wrong. I mean, I think you're saying the word right, infringement, but I, I don't know if that's the correct term for what it would be. I'm not sure because I mean, I guess you're making name brand things in a game and the name brand like the, the company that you're 
making it based off of is not getting any royalties from it. So I guess that would, that's what that would be. I tried to look it up. But it just says that the team behind 5M issued a statement detailing that um, they want to comply with copyright laws. Yeah. So, that, that, I mean, so that's that's what it was all that's what it all come down to is you know they would you know they would ban the servers if they didn't follow right. rules and stuff like that so and they've acquired 5m so they have to like 5m has to you know do that or you know 5m could be shut down right or whatever I wonder if they ever got into a lawsuit I've always wondered that's- about that that's kind of what I was trying to look up. I'm wondering if, if maybe GTA didn't like put a lawsuit or threat, maybe threaten 5M with a lawsuit saying like, Hey, because you use your, I guess, modded platform based off of our game. Yeah. So, I mean, it might not even be like a partnership type thing. They might've just said, you know, Hey, cut it out or we'll sue you personally. I don't know. I could see, I could see how like Dodge, or, you know, um, Stellantis or whoever, you know, the owners of that company. I could see how they would come at, at their creator or Rockstar. I could see how they would come at them and say, hey, these these cars are being copywritten into your game, you know, unlawfully copywritten into your game. And Rockstar's like, hey, it's not us, it's these guys. I could see how that would be an issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, again, I understand it. Um, I wasn't, you know, I, it, it didn't upset me any. I just went in there and it was just a click of a button. I took all the cards out right? and then I had to, I had to recode the cars to the dealership. So I just put like, you know, in game cards at the dealership, which, and we, but that's what we were doing when we started the cubicle core, cubicle core server was we were, you know, we were building like cars in-game cars and then when we figured out how to put the real cars in the qb core server that's when we started building real cars so it's not it wasn't a big deal um or anything like that it was just you know we just freaking took the cars out you so, didn't even say the server name it's vice city royals so vice city royals baby vice it's, city royals. it is literally flatlined right now <laughs> um yeah, it uh, fell off, I guess. Yeah, I mean it. It's still up. It's it's running. I check it every week to make sure. Yeah. There's a few people join it, but that's that's the good thing about a keyboard core server. You can join a keyboard core server and and play and not have to have anybody on. It's kind of like a story mode sort of. Like you can get in there and play. You just can't like buy cars because we have car dealers. You can't fix your cars up because we have mechanics and stuff right. like that. But you can still get in there, steal cars, run drugs. You know, rob jewelry stores and stuff like that. But I mean, there's obviously no cops on. And, and uh, I did, I, mean, I did make I a video. Time to do it, huh? Yeah, I did make a video on uh, what it's like owning uh, a 5M server, but I took it down because it got like four views, and it just wasn't popping off. So I didn't take it down. I just unlisted it. Um, but we, I mean, we could talk about that here. Because it was like a poorly, it was a very, I was, it was two o'clock in the morning. It was a very poorly edited, put together video. I should have just, you know, I should have just, you know, waited. But I was like, I got to put a video out Wednesday. And so that's what I did. But yeah. Um, and just so you guys know, for people that watch this and are wondering what's going on, uh, we are going to make more content with like the focus and stuff. We are in the process of a really big move, hopefully a really big move that's going to change the future of this YouTube channel. Um, fingers crossed that it'll happen. But uh, if it doesn't happen, it's okay. We're going to you know, also figure it out, but we have a really good opportunity laid out on the table. We're just waiting on the signature to happen in order to you know, do all this. But back to you know uh the server side of it i made a video and i uh had to unlist it because of it just wasn't popping off like i thought it would and again it was a poorly edited video i put together very fast because i thought i needed to push content that's what happens i'm like oh i need to push content out fast and that's 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 what happens when you try to push content out you push out bad content so 
unlisten the video, but it was about, you know, owning Oh goodness, I keep hiccuping. Owning a five M mm-hmm. server and what, you know, what goes on, you know, because it's frustrating in a way to own, like if you own the server, you get a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff happens that you have to, you know, take control of because you are the owner of the server in a way. So, and like the server that we just, you know, five Vice City Royals, I put in a casino and there was a, a corrupt script in there and uh, a couple guys took advantage of that corrupt script and you know got million hundreds of millions of dollars and then spread it throughout the server and it like it killed the server it killed the whole reason that whole server was made and you know it just killed it and so i had to i took the casino out and therefore it took the money that the casino brought in out so everybody went back down to their original bank accounts and it more along the lines killed the server when I done that. That was my fault. Take one hundred percent responsibility for that. I was the one that put the casino in. But the, yeah, it killed the it flatlined the server when we had like five players leave or something like that. So there was like two or three left that was a full full time players and then we had like I wanna say we had ten that jumped in every now and then. Right. You know, but it, they wasn't like full time players of the server. They were playing in you know, the Rocket League and stuff like that. Just when they got done, they would jump in. So yeah, it was a it was a hard thing to do. It was a hard thing to to you know RP or make content. It was basically just in there hanging out, you know, playing around and stuff. Which you was you was there, Rocky. You was yeah. You seen it firsthand. I feel like before we changed to the QB Core server. Um, I know you spent a lot of time while we were trying to play and enjoy the time. I know you being a server owner, you spent a lot of time working in the server as well. So you yeah. kind of missed out. I feel like a little on a little bit of that. Yeah, it was uh, me, John, and Chicklet were the main culprits, and Gary uh, or Cemetery. We were the main culprits of that. Um, you know, we were. I I didn't have anything to do, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, because I was on short-term disability with my leg, so I literally had nothing to do. So I would just hammer down to like from dark till sun sunrise, and I would go to bed, you know, in the morning. Whenever you know Taylor was getting ready to go to work, I would just lay down and go to bed. But you yeah, find out you were on disability and working on a server. John. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't making any money from it, unfortunately. But yeah, it I, was. Uh, I meant like working. <laughs> but yeah, I was. Uh, I would crutch myself in there, sit down, and we. That's where I would stay. I would code the crap out of that server, and then we would play for, I don't know, probably like three hours. Yeah, and and then three or four hours at, at most, and then. Every, you know, there would be like two or three people on. We'd have what we called F around hour. And that's, you know, we just got on there and shot rockets and done some, you know, stupid stuff. Met a huge YouTuber, like, during that period of time because we had that V-menu server. Right. Um, his name was, uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, he's a big YouTuber, so I don't, I don't think, I don't think it matters if we shout him out or whatever, but, um, Chevy Dude was a huge, you know, huge YouTuber that was looking for uh, a server to join. And he, act, we, it was in like Indy, Indian, uh, Indy, I can't remember the name of Indy, Indianapolis. Yeah. Uh, we was in that server. And then, what? <laughs> um, uh, Chevy dude joined the server and we became good friends with him. Not my server. He joined, um, uh, in Indianapolis, I don't know how to say it, but, but he joined that one. And so we were in there and he was like, I was streaming and he jumped in my stream and then joined our discord. And then right. I didn't know who it was, you know, at first, but his profile picture was like a YouTube plaque. And he was like, you know, 
Yeah. And I was like, who is that? So I like looked real close and it was, he had like 500,000, you know, 500,000 plaque or something like that. I can't remember. Or maybe it was a 10,000 or 100,000. I don't know. I can't remember. It was one of the YouTube plaques he had in, in his profile picture. So I quickly found out who he was and then, but I never switched up. I never like, oh my God, it's a big YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. I just acted like it was another person. And I don't know. I think he is what he liked about it. Cause he was just, you know, cause he was chill, yeah. but we got into servers and I was like, I want to create a server. And he was just like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. He wanted to build a server with us, but he wanted to own it. And before he had mentioned about owning the server, we had all mentioned that we were all going to own the server. We would have all equal rights to the server. And that's what we did. We created the server, got the license for it, blah, 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 did everything. We did everything all for free. Like all, we tried to do this as free as possible. And until we had to make, you know, had to pay some money. So we did it as free as possible, as much as we could, all the way down to like putting cars in and got the server up and running. We played, played, coded, played, coded, played, coded. And then he would jump in and he would like shoot us a rocket launcher. Like he shot us a rocket launcher during one of the, uh, one of the scenes Yeah, and blew everybody up and, Everybody was like, everybody was like, why is he doing that? I was like, I don't know. Just, you know. And then I had him as an admin on there and everybody was, you know, kind of mad about it because we was up for like weeks. Again, Rocky, you know this. We were like coding that server for weeks straight, especially me, John, and Chicklet. Yeah. We were grinding, dude. And then Chevy dude was you know, make me a, an admin on there. And I was like, I can make you mod. And then, you know, and then he started offering money to buy the server from us. And I didn't want to sell it. Cause I didn't mean we didn't have any money in it. So there was no, like, no need to sell it. So can I was I, like, can I input something too, while you're like close, kind of close to the topic on the cars? Yeah. We were playing in some other servers and they were charging for cars. Like, I mean, it was a fair, what was it like $10? More than that. I want to say, I don't remember which one it was. You wanted something, maybe like a Miata or something like that. And the guy, the guy wanted like $10 for it. Mm. And then you found the same mod for free. And mm -hmm. so all it, it took you, what, two seconds to like download it and put it in the server? Yeah. That was, uh, that was Alabama State Roleplay. Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not shouting them out. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. we'll, we'll just they, add in a bleep when you said the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I they ended up being like they ended up being like royal pieces of shit to us. And but they we were getting in, we had a like a certain style of we played or whatever. We got in and he would they were always cool, you know, to us. We got in there, played, they played the same way. And then they got a couple, you know, they started getting a few people in and in their server. And then they got these two guys that were from big servers like Blair County, RP. I don't remember. But there were two big guys. And we played as we always played. You can see it in the stream. I, 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 had the, uh, I was streaming when all this happened. But, you know, he, he got on to Crispy. And Crispy wasn't even running, and then we had to prove it with the video, and then we couldn't get Crispy back in there because Crispy was mad at them. And yeah, then, I was on that night. Yeah, and I then was he, actually playing with you guys that night. Me and you was pulled over, and they run up on me and you, and you know, started dev talking us while we were in the middle of RP. And I can't remember the guy's name, but he was really he was really hilarious. But me and you were in the middle of an RP with him, and we were yeah. dying, dude. We were. <laughs> died laughing and I can't even remember what the what it was so funny but the dude was so funny he was a good officer and he was yeah. so funny I have so many clips of me and him just cracking up with each other Um, I do miss playing with that guy but you know old Bill run over there and no, from, <laughs> from the Alabama server and 
you know, started dev talking us, you know, like, we won't have people run out of us in the scene, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, God, leave me alone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he come in this server with me doesn't mean he's my responsibility, bro. <laughs> it's a public server. Leave me alone. He's a grown man. Yeah, grown ass man. You go talk to him. Discord's yeah, open for yeah. everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but yeah, they freaking come over there and got on my ass. So we all left. And then, uh, we all left and went to another server to like letter because that's what we do. We just leave and let it all yeah. cool down, and then we would come back or whatever. And uh, so we were doing that, and then uh, he had messaged me or something, and we had talked about. I think I live streamed it actually. Oh, something happened. We were talking about getting cars. Me and John. John paid yeah. like forty to sixty dollars yeah. for a Mustang to be put in there. Yeah, and that again, we're on this topic. We took, we literally took that same Mustang, modified it ourselves, the speed, the sound, and everything for free, and put it in our own server for free. And they was right. charging John sixty bucks for that thing. Same right. thing with the Miata. They charged me. They tried to charge me ten, twenty bucks, and then I found the Miata, modified the sound, modified the speed, modified the everything by myself for free and put it in our server, both servers actually. Right. And, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, they were, they were like, Oh yeah, we'll get you guys cars. We know how to do this and that. We'll lock the cars to you. And I was like, okay, cool. We'll do that. And, uh, this random guy messaged me on discord and he's like, Hey man, is you, is, uh, he said, Hey man, um, Bill said you're creating a server, something like that. And I was like, yeah, we were. Uh, it's just a test server at the moment. But I mean, we've been, you know, in Alabama State Roleplay, just hanging out, doing some cool stuff there. He was like, man, Bill's talking shit to you. <laughs> I was like, or he's talking shit about you. And I was like, oh, really? And uh, I was I was laughing. I was like laughing emojis. I was like, don't surprise me. And I thought he was just, you know, just messing around or whatever. But he started sending me screenshots. You remember that? Oh, There's like yeah. a bunch of screenshots of like actually he was like actually talking shit, and I was like, oh, dang, like because we was putting like, I was ready to like you know, really get down with the Alabama server because they were talking about making me staff and and stuff like that, and I was like, I was really down with it. It's like, yeah. dude, this would be pretty cool. I'd have some sort of stake in the server, and help it you know grow. Have finally be able to make some content. There was like three or four of them. So it would add to our, you know, 12 or 13 that I brought to the Alabama server. Right. And, uh, but yeah, I was like, I messaged him. I was like, Hey, what's this? <laughs> and then we got in there and then like his friends started talking shit to us. And I was, I was like, I'm just over this. So we all left or whatever, built our own server. And I checked that server. I was petty, dude. I checked that server every day, every single day. And it had three people in it for the like six months straight. <laughs> it may be like four or five on the weekends. Yeah. That was it, dude. I was petty as hell. I checked that <laughs> server daily. I don't know more because I don't. I don't even think it's a thing anymore. But uh, but yeah, I was checking it daily, and uh, just to make sure I was like your your server flatlined when we left, just so you know. <laughs> I mean, I remember our group was pretty big at one point. Like, yeah, our group was we had, the server. We had like, I think at one point we had like 17 to 18 people yeah. that would consistently come in and play, uh, consistently come in and play 5M on the Alabama server, like with everybody. And then we ended up, when we left and we created our own server, the vMenu server, that's what we started off with was the vMenu server, created it. I think we had consistently 12 to 13 people a night on that server because we had that big group. We'd all split up in discords and and play. I mean, it was so fun, dude, so fun. And but yeah, uh, we ended up deciding we wanted to do the QB core style. So we ended up, uh, you know, paying like I think it was like a hundred bucks for six months, and uh, got a nice server with its own IP and all that, and. It's still up to this day. It's a badass server, super good server, but it, it like it flatlined whenever I, you know, put that casino in. 
Just destroyed it. Destroyed what, it. What server was it when me and you were at the hospital and that random dude came up and was just like trash talking and you started joking with him and then he just kept going and kept going and then he like tried to fight you. So you like knocked this guy out and you're like stomping on the ground. You're like, idiot, idiot, idiot. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know the clip yeah. you're talking about, but I don't remember. I don't remember what server that was in. It was. It was, had to have been in the QB Core server because that's when we started like doing, you know, crazy stuff. I want to say it was before we started our own. I want to say it was when we were jumping around. It was in one of those random state role plays or something like that. It was probably New York. It might have been. It was either New York or Indiana, because but like. I got kicked from Indiana. Um, yeah, I think a lot of us did. Yeah, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we like, all we all did. <laughs> I mean, to this day, like sometimes people do stuff, and that's what plays in my head is like idiot, <laughs> idiot, idiot. <laughs> um, we did. Uh, uh, we did jump servers a lot. New York was a really good server. Um. Until they made White Mad. <laughs> yeah. And then we never went back. I remember that too. It was like an hour of like a Mexican standoff between White yeah. and police. It was <laughs> all of us standing around on go-karts. Gary is still circling us. <clears throat> we were all just standing there and arguing back and forth. Because the the they had shifts shift owners. So there's owners during the day and there's owners during the night because that server was hot all the time. I don't know if it still is, but there was very consistent role play within that server. They had like a hundred and something, you know, slots open. Like it was a good server. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, um, there was a bunch of content creators in there and it, they kept the server alive 24 seven. And, uh, yeah, uh, we were in there and the, the shift servers that was the shift server owners that were in there or whoever they are shift managers or whatever they were in there and they were barking at you know why why of course he's gonna bark back yeah oh, no. he's gonna hurt your feelings <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so and then they start barking at me so i started barking back and then it was just turned into like a full hour and then we all came to agreement in the end we all said our sorries and then we left the server and then we never come back so that was the end of the New York server. And then we went to Indiana and we tried to do a bank robbery there. And yeah, that didn't go well. Oh, I remember the guy coming in and just going straight full. Just straight everybody. mode everybody with like a freaking minigun, dude. Yeah. And everybody was super mad. And then I was like, I was talking crap and uh, wouldn't let anybody talk. And they, they kicked me from the server or banned me from the server. And then I got in their Discord, and I had this like long message typed out. It was a bunch of vulgar <laughs> words in there, <laughs> like probably can't say on the stream. And I hit enter, uh, copied and pasted, hit enter, and I did that. I think it was two hundred and seventy-two times. Jeez. And I was like tick 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 tick, and just kept going. And like their server was blowing up, and they couldn't delete right. it. Yeah, it I was, remember that. It was, and yeah, I was going ham. I was like. <laughs> like people were like, and like you would see a chat, and they'd be like, "Dude, stop!" <laughs> like, just, just, just stop. <laughs> people just kept, and they just couldn't keep up. It was so funny. And then they uh, finally got to where they could ban me from the from the Discord server, and then I just joined as like a somebody else, like another Discord, because I have like five Discord accounts. I joined at another one. And I was just like. <laughs> again, they had to ban it again. <laughs> but yeah, so it mean, was. I'm, I know for like people that don't know the situation, it sounds like you would be, you know, out of context for acting the way you were. But and those guys had no reason to act the way they did to cause the the fury. Because I mean, we were we were doing a scene. You know, we were doing what we were supposed to be doing. And I think the guy came back and said that like. They were on cooldown time or something else. It was some like ridiculous reason. You know what but it was? They could have just they could have just said something. They could have just said that. You know what it was? Priority. You remember? Because like you had to take priority if you wanted a priority. 
Like if you That's wanted if you wanted to do a robbery, you had to call it out. But it was but the there same was a guys dude. that kept yeah. taking priority. Like back, I mean, as soon as it would open up, the the same guys that you know just had it for the last ten minutes would take it again. And we we asked for permission. We put it in right. chat. We that. said, "Hey, we're doing a bank robbery. The Vice City team is doing a bank robbery." And then, so we put it in chat. We let it known. Got down to like five seconds. It was like, "Hey, we're taking priority, just so everybody knows." We got on the we, gun to take it. We waited. Yeah, yeah, we waited like thirty. It was like thirty was, minute cooldown yeah, or was, something like that. It was about a half hour. We waited. We just we, we all stood around the bank goofing off, waiting on yeah. priority to open up. We followed the rules. We waited on cooldown. Cooldown got there. We tried to hit priority. Some the same dude took it. Same yep. dude took it. And they were like, "Oh, yep, can't take it." And I said, "Screw it. We're doing the bank robbery anyway." So we did the bank robbery. And they come in. They mowed us all down. And they were like, yep. "It was cooldown time." And then that's when all the that's when, in theory, poop hit the fan, <laughs> and then flung everywhere. Because they just keep giving same. They keep giving priority to the same guy. And we've been playing for like three or four hours. Yeah. And then the same dude had it. As soon as it would open up, the same guy would get it. And that's what so. inspired us to build our own server was that that reason solely. So we right. could prevent that kind of stuff. And those are V menu servers. So we started it as a V menu server and then it blew up. And then we were like, let's do QB Core because that's, you know, that's going to be good. We're done QB Core. And that one dude, he he was trying to merge servers with me. The guy that found that Bill was talking crap about me. Yeah. Um. He was like, "You want to merge servers?" And I was like, "Nah, dude, we got it. We're we're good. <laughs> we're good over here, man." And he was like, "Dude, it costs too much money and time to do this." I was like, "There's no way. Like, this is costing you that much money." I said, "We've done everything for free." And I said, "I I, I have cars in the server." And we're in it, no money. Like the a only money, yeah. We had three hundred cars in there, <laughs> yeah. Um, and we were in it zero dollars. And for you know, I think the only thing, only thing I spent money on was the Patreon account. That was to give us custom clothing and sixty four slots for people to join. So. That seventeen dollars a month was all I was in it until we optimized the cars, which made the server run better. And it was fifteen dollars for a hundred cars. We had three hundred, so you know, do the math there. That's how much money we had in the server. Forty-five dollars. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, after that, we were like, let's do a QB core, and then we spent the hundred for the six months, and I still got it. I still got it till like February. And uh, but anyway, we did that, and then we paid for the, we paid for the, we paid for a bunch of scripts because if you pay for them in a QB core server, you get good ones. So that's what we were, we were like, let's do it. We're gonna do it right. So we paid for a bunch of stuff. I think we were in it like 150, 170 bucks. But that was it for the QB core, and like the Alabama server they were talking about, they were spending six hundred a month on the server. They didn't right. have they didn't have nothing in it. Right. I mean, they didn't have custom cars. It, they had a few. A menu server. Yeah, it was a V menu server first of all, V menu server, and then uh, they had like a few custom cars that that nobody could get. It was just them, <laughs> and they had them locked, or they had all the add on cars locked unless they like really knew you. <clears> and <throat> then they had a couple custom. Um, you know, cop cars, like state trooper cop cars, and they had them skinned with Alabama on it, and then they had, like, the uh, the uh, police station skinned as, like, a Birmingham Police Department. Yeah. So I think that's what cost a lot, but they were spending, like, $600 a month. And, you know, for a server that had three people for six months straight. <laughs> you know, that was a lot of money for that. But, so yeah. do you think... You think 5M will make it once? I know it's going to be a while before GTA 6 comes out, but do you think 5M will survive once that game comes out, or do you think it'll just be a ghost town? I think 5M will still, you know, do its thing. Um, but you don't see many people playing it right now. Yeah. That's, that's you know, obviously they bought it or 
partnered with it, whatever they did, Rockstar, to because of GTA Six. There's yeah. a reason behind it. Um, so I've I don't, seen a big absence in Five M content, and maybe it's just well, it's still at the, it's still at the top of the charts. Like if you go, you know, if you go on like you know Twitch or Kick and YouTube. Like Grand Theft Auto will always be at the top of the charts because of Five M. There's just like you'll have that one server, and there'll be like a thousand people watching that one dude yeah. in that server, and more than likely they'll be in you know it'll be in another language or something like that. But there'll be Five M will always be probably at the top because a lot of people love it. I mean it's just a good yeah. thing. But I don't I think it's dying down because I mean we haven't been there. We're hardcore. I'm a hardcore Five M guy. That's just, I've always been that way. We've been playing 5M since 2015. Isn't that crazy? That's it's nuts. Almost 10 years. <laughs> yeah, dude, I've got videos where we're one of the first servers we joined, uh, and I was like role playing. I had like poop on my, on my lips or something. I can't remember. It's a funny video. The dude was like, is that, is that chocolate? And he like got close to me. And he, like you can hear him in his in his microphone sniff. And he's like, "Oh, that's not chocolate." <laughs> <laughs> and and then it turned into like a full scene. I was like, "Oh, Gary's my boyfriend." And then like it turned into like a crazy scene, you know, right then. Yeah. But yeah, it was you know that was a long time ago, dude. I mean, I'm yeah. talking a long time ago. And but it was fun back then too, and nobody knew what they was doing. You know, we was just messing around and trying to figure stuff out. But yeah, I think it took a, a pretty good dip. Um, I don't think it's dead, but I did, it did take a dip. And, uh, cause I haven't been in, you know, back in 5M, but a lot of games have, not a lot of games, but there have been some games come out like Modern Warfare 3. And you know, a lot of people play that right now. I play it, you know, Warzone just come out. Yeah. And, and, you know, I'll be playing the crap out of Warzone. I like Lethal Company too. It's a it's a good game. Lethal Company, dude, that is ridiculous. Now yeah. it's at the top of the charts for days. It's a ten dollar yeah. game, dude. Yeah, it took it took, like it. it took the gaming industry by storm. It was a Lego game, dude, put together ten bucks, and it's doing it was you know it's doing better than the the one of the anticipated games that come out uh, the day before. Or a day before, or something I can't remember something like that. I bought it, and then like I didn't even I bought it because I thought it was gonna be an awesome game. It was supposed to be an awesome game. Doctor Disrespect was playing it today. I liked it, so I bought it, and then everybody's refunding it. It's overwhelmingly negative on the reviews. Overwhelmingly negative on the reviews. People are just Is talking. Cr- yeah, go look at it. It's day before. Dude, their people are trashing that game. And it was supposed to be like one of the, you know, a good game that come out this year. It got what game are you talking about? Top in the day before. On oh. Steam. I thought you were saying like the day before is when all the reviews came no, out. No, 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 no. I was no. like, what? The game is called The Day Before. Yeah, and I'm looking it up. It it just released today. It bombed. Oh yeah. It's bad. Yeah. People trashed it everywhere, too. Like on X, on Facebook, everywhere. Dr. Disrespect was playing it today. I thought it was good. But there's not enough zombies, apparently. There's not enough people in the servers. like, So I just like straight refunded it. I bought it today when it came out, and I just straight refunded it. I was like, nobody's going to play it. I'm going to be the only one playing it, and I can play a game by myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, Nick, are you getting this game? Nick's like, no. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's trash. And I was like, oh, come on, dude. We're supposed to be playing this game. We have plans. I was plans. trying to see like, what's on the top of the list, but it's always your standard um, Counter-Strikes. Yeah. Warhammer 40,000. 40, Lethal Company was is. up there for a while. I don't know where it's at now, but it was up there for a while. I don't know. They're gonna have to put VR support in that game. That game is it's very fun. I know like Markiplier, which is one of my favorite guys to watch, you know, gamers. Um 
he's been doing some videos of it recently. Yeah. So I like I, that game, man. I do too. I think we should. Uh, I think we should do a stream if with Lethal Company because they're in the top of the not because Lethal Company is the top of the charts right now. It's just a fun game, and I would like to. I would like to get our reactions because we have good reactions on that game. Oh, I agree. Like it's 100%. it's fun and it is. uh and it's so funny like when we hear you like fall or something and, <laughs> and you're just like ah! <laughs> and you die it's just it's a good it's a very good game for 10 bucks solid purchase a game should have been you know a lot more than that it should have been like 20 bucks right there's some games i see come out too that you know they're games that should be ten dollar games but you know they're charging 40 and 50 dollars for them i'm not sure i don't know what goes into making them so i'm not sure of why they what decides the price range on games mm-hmm. but i mean you know me i don't i don't spend a lot to buy games i would rather play them free ones or you know stuff along that lines because i feel like i enjoy it more i feel like if i pay say 40 dollars for a game i feel like then i i feel like i have to enjoy it if not it's like a waste of 40 hours yeah just the way i see it so rooted or not rooted um the day before should have been like a 10 dollar game yeah i think so it was 40 40 bucks it's 39.99 yeah yeah so it's 42 after tax is what i paid for it 42 43 something like that and uh god could you imagine being the developer of that game watching the sales go (laughs) <laughs> let's get refunds left or right you're like oh man i'm bankrupt <laughs> no way I mean, I was, like i said you i don't know what goes into making it so you know yeah. you don't know the we don't know how much money is put into developing the game yeah so. yeah it's like i it was supposed to be a good it was supposed to be the game that we were supposed to be playing for you know and then lethal, we've been playing Lethal Company, <laughs> a ten dollar, a ten dollar game, which is nuts. I do, think, I do think we should play that and get get some videos. Oh yeah, we we will. We're 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 definitely going to, for sure. But I, yeah, that's uh, something we can do for you know, not so much as like filler content, but I mean we play games, what four days a week, three days a week. Yeah, for the most part. So and we. I've, just, and again, I wanted to do, I wanted to do live streams again. Yeah. Like the, I want to do that. So I've got all this equipment here to do it. I got, I got to, I got to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I enjoy it. I enjoy streaming, but the problem is YouTube is this, this is where it all goes south. To stream on YouTube, you have to stream during the day. Unfortunately, I work during the day, so that doesn't work. But you have to stream during the day. Because at night, it does not work. Unless you're a big streamer with a big following, you cannot stream on YouTube at night. It just does not work at all. You're only going to get a limited amount of views. And if you're playing Grand Theft Auto, the charts and those, those stupid videos... They live stream for like 10 hours at a time and it's just a bunch of bull crap in the video. Uh, come back on camera. Uh, it's just a bunch of bull crap in the video that this being live stream. YouTube should catch, but they don't. But it's whatever. Uh, if you go to Kick, Kick's a good place to go to stream, but it's getting congested now because everybody's going to Kick. Twitch is falling off. But there's still good streamers on there. But for the most part, you know, nobody's streaming on, or not nobody's streaming. Everybody still streams on Twitch, but it's congested as well because people are trying to make it there because they think everybody's going to kick, so they're trying to stream over there. And it's just like the platforms are just congested. It's hard to get up in the charts, even if you make good content. It's yeah. it's it's hard to get up there. That's why I'm hoping to build. If I could build a following a big following on YouTube 
then I wouldn't care. I would just stream on YouTube because the yeah. following will re- watch you regardless. You wouldn't have to like worry about being seen by everybody, you know, eight o'clock at night because your followers will see you. You'll get notified and they'll watch you. So yeah, that's what's kind of, you know, it sucks. You'll be sitting there and you'll sit there for, you know, an hour or two with zero, you know, zero viewers, you know, viewers or whatever. And you'll be sitting there like, hey, what am I doing? You know, I could just be playing this game and yeah. enjoying it. And then like you also think, well, if I'm playing the game and enjoying it, you know, I could be streaming and then catch a few views and then it blows up. So it's like a, it's like you're stuck a, in a rock in a hard place. Because you'll go days like that. My streams did get good views. Um, but it wasn't like anything that, like, that's going to make me a full-time streamer or anything like that. Right. Yeah, I just play the game and enjoy it. I'll put all that stress on you. you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I want to do like live streams with the, the sim rig, but nobody watches a set of Corsa. Nobody watches, yeah. you know, Forza. Nobody watches... WRC, like nobody watches that stuff. Like, there's, yeah. it's not in the charts, and if it is, it's got 20 views, you know. And there's somebody in there streaming with those 20 viewers. Like, you're not gonna take away those 20 viewers from that stream <clears throat> when you're sitting at zero. It's just not gonna work. It's just, it just, this how streams work. And then if you want to make good money streaming, you gotta stream. You know, you gotta stream what's trending. So. If you're not an in, in, if you're not a RL streamer, you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, this is it's. I want to do it so bad, but I think I need to build a following before that happens. I think. So what's your like? How would one start out doing that? If somebody was wanted to start, like, how do you start building the following? Just putting putting the content out there and yeah. Just putting content out and and then you integrate that into, you know, my my channel is all over the place. I live stream. We do a bunch of videos. We do vlogs. We do car content. We do a show. We're, we're trying to get to where we want to make the Bigfoot movie. We're trying to do it. I promise we're trying. It's just that is a massive thing to do. It's hard to do it. But we're working on it. <laughs> was that was that known knowledge that that was in works? Yeah, it's been known knowledge for like four years now. <laughs> 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 I've had the script for two. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's 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 hard to do that kind of stuff, and you're doing it all on one channel. Like I said, my channel is kind of all over the place, but it's been like that for years. I don't want to swap it up. I don't want to put right. the podcast on its own channel unless it blows up. If the if this if Melamate was to blow up, we'd have to you know definitely put it on another channel or just keep it here and, and you know just run the content you know like that. Yeah. But because the way I looked at it, the way I look at it is I'm already partnered with this channel, and we do so much with you know video wise, like you know we do. Uh the podcast and then we do you know we're going to start doing the cars and stuff and building cars and and stuff like that so i want to keep it all on one channel and just push this channel to the moon instead of like hey go here to watch mellow mates and then like you'll lose you know three or four people go over and watch it and then maybe you say something important in that video and it doesn't get watched like here it's only gonna it the videos only get a certain amount of views but, you know, over there, it only get like one or two views because YouTube's not pushing that channel. It's not making any money. So that's like my biggest thing here is like I'm making YouTube money even though it's pennies on the dollar. I'm still making YouTube money so they're still pushing that video to at least a few viewers right. to be seen or whatever. And then, you know, it, just like, you know, Clint's channel... You know, it could blow up any time. That video is at like five, six thousand views right now. I mean, and YouTube's pushing the crap out of it. Right. 
So, you know, this video could get pushed. You know, my other videos could get pushed. And and the reason they're doing that is because the YouTube channel is uh, monetized. So that's like the advantage I have on, say, starting a new channel. So if we start a new channel, it's going to be hard to grow views on that channel because we're going to have to be pushing shorts constantly, like two shorts a day. And then, you know, hopefully we're going to say something interesting to to push that short, you know, to an audience of some sort. What is that? A lens for a weldon hood. A what? It's a lens for a weldon hood. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just like the inner one or the outer one. It's not like the darkening one, obviously. But. Yeah. I was like, man, you closing your eyes when you will. <laughs> <laughs> he said... <laughs> But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll find a good, steady schedule. But me and you've been working on that. I've been trying to trying to find a good steady schedule for this kind of stuff. Um, I think it's fine leaving everything on one channel. Um, because I mean, it comes down to like you're gonna have your audience as a broad, and they may not watch your vlogs but they're interested in like the car content that we make or the podcast. They might yeah. be, they might watch those videos. You know, they don't have to watch the other ones. They'll still be on the page, but you know, they don't have to jump around. Like you said, jump from, you know, one YouTube page to another, to another, trying to find what they do like to watch. Yeah. They just, they'll just go to your one main channel and then everything's on there. Yeah. Content's like always, content's always been pushed. And it's always different content too. So, uh, you could be on there just to watch season six stuff, or you could be on there just to watch the Metal Mate stuff. There's always going to be different content being pushed on the channel, but the channel will always be moving because they're all the content will be pushed onto the channel. So, like the channel will never like sit. You know what I mean? Because like some of those YouTubers will make good videos, but they'll go like a month without making a video. Right. And and then the, the viewers are sitting there like, well, what happened? You know, where are you at? Like here, you know, you'll have mellow baits on Fridays. You'll have a regular, you know, car content on Wednesdays. And then we may, if everything goes well, um, we may be, you know, adding like different, you know, a show on Monday and stuff like that. So, I don't know, it just, you know, it all depends on, the coming weeks ahead, you know, I don't want to spoil it, but the coming weeks ahead, yeah. if everything yeah. works out. Yeah. I think your channel is going to be more based around if they are, you know, a religious audience, then they're going to be, they're going to be the, their enjoyment is from watching what we do and everything that we do. Mm -hmm. It's probably not going to be one specific thing, like not one niche type of group because, you know, I guess we're all, Inner involved in the, all the videos that we make. And I I just want to say, I can't wait till we can start making good car content again. Cause like that's the stuff I genuinely enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. I, I like doing this too, obviously, but I enjoy doing the car content, whether we make videos of it or not. That's, I mean, you could you could be like, hey, you want to come do this on your free time? And I'd be like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of stuff that I enjoy doing. Oh, yeah. I think. Uh... Doing the, I think the Miata is going to be a big one. The Miata is going to be a cool dude. I think so. For sure. I, I think, I 100% think so. <clears throat> and then getting vehicles from the sale and doing that kind of stuff, I think that's going to be huge. But yeah, it's all, it's, it's, it's all coming together. It's, it's getting there. Um, Again, we have some massive things in the future. We hope it works out. We really do hope it works out because it'll be a massive deal if it does. It's going to be crazy for sure. Hello. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is a... The happy anniversary card that we <laughs> Thank you. It's very sweet of you. Don't eat it. Thank you. 
was eating it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has come to that hour or that time. Uh, thank you for joining us on another episode of Mellow Mates. Um, Thanks for giving us your time. Thank you for giving us your time. Appreciate you. Sound like that Shane when Shane Gillis was like, um, "You ever watch Star Military kill people?" <laughs> and he was like, "It had been a Black Hawk, stealthy, mows down like forty people." He's just like clear. <laughs> He's like that guy's a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> so funny but yeah thanks thanks you for uh thank you for joining us on this episode um we're gonna keep making these every week uh we love doing this i think yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it and uh again this is rock a singapore i don't know how to say his last name and, uh, I'm not going to correct you. We're just going to lose it. <laughs> we we'll, will, we'll see if it takes traction. Here we go. I'm your other host, your co-host, Sean Wayne. Here on Sean Wayne's Productions, please give us a subscri- subscription. Subscribe. Hit the like button or the dislike button. The Either more or. people that subscribe, the better Sean gets at English. Here we go, baby. So, you guys don't want to listen to you know, inaudible language, then subscribe. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed this. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.